Hello and welcome to the West Midlands Regional Cybercrime Unit YouTube channel. This week we will be covering the Cyber Essentials Malware Control. This video is part 2 of 3, so make sure to watch last week's video to make sure you're caught up and join us next week for more information on this topic. Also, please check out the rest of the Cyber Essentials playlist to learn more about the scheme. So, we're just going to recap quickly what we covered in last week's video. So, the ways we can defend against malware. Firstly, there's antivirus software. Antivirus software is often included for free within popular operating systems. It should be used on all computers and laptops. For your office equipment, you can pretty much click enable and you're instantly safer. Smartphones and tablets might require a different approach and if configured in accordance with the NCSC's guidance, separate antivirus software might not be necessary. Secondly, you should only download apps for mobile phones and tablets from manufacturer approved stores, for example, the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. These apps are checked to provide a certain level of protection from malware. You should prevent staff from downloading apps from unknown vendors or sources as these will not have been checked. And finally, for those unable to install antivirus or limit users to approved stores, there is another, more technical solution. This solution is that apps and programs can be run in a sandbox. This prevents them from interacting with and harming other parts of your devices or networks. This will be covered further in next week's video. What is application whitelisting? Application whitelisting is authorizing approved applications for use within organizations in order to protect systems from potentially harmful applications. In contrast, application blacklisting is an access control mechanism that blocks named entities from communicating with a computer, site, or network. The goal of application whitelisting is to have complete control over what programs can run on a system. All of the software should be regarded as unauthorized and therefore will not run. Requirements for the technical control theme. Only approved applications restricted by code signing are allowed to execute on devices. The applicant must firstly, actively approve such applications before deploying them to devices. Secondly, maintain a current list of approved applications and users must not be able to install any application that is unsigned or has an invalid signature. So now we will cover a Windows 10 demo whitelisting example. Firstly, if we right click on the Windows icon in the bottom left and select run, then we type in gpedit.msc and this will open up the group policy editor. In the left pane of the window, we select Administrative Templates. Then we select System. Then we select Run Only Specified Windows Applications if we scroll down a little. It's important to keep in mind that you must be careful when tinkering with this, and you could lock yourself out of areas of your own machine. Take your time and conduct further research to solidify your understanding. To continue with the demo, we now select Enabled. And now we can click on the Show button, so we click on that. In this new window, we input the value of the program we want to be in our whitelist. These will be the programs that our machine will be able to run. So if we input notepad.exe, select OK, and then select Apply and OK. If we try to open Microsoft Edge, which is an internet browser, we receive this error message. This operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Please contact your system administrator. If we select OK to get rid of this message, If we now try to open our Notepad application, this works as normal. This is because our Notepad application is on the whitelist and therefore isn't restricted on this machine.
To get rid of this setting, we simply select the Run Only Specified Windows Applications button, as we did before, and then select Not Configured instead of Enabled. Select Apply and then OK. Using this information, you can add all the necessary programs you wish to be used onto this whitelist and really secure your system if desired. It can be time consuming, but is a great way to defend against malware. For more information on malware, please visit the NCSC website and the Cyber Essentials website. If you are interested in the Cyber Essentials scheme for your business and would like to find out more, please visit the Cyber Essentials website. This video makes use of the latest NCSC and Cyber Essentials guidance at the time of recording.